Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play A Plague Tale Requiem. Where we... <laughs> where we have to f way on. Okay. The hole I have not seen in the last episode, or at the end of the last episode, forgive me. I am a tinsy little bit sorry. Do we need to help out? Thank you, buddy. Let's get that cart in place. Yep, but first of all... Let's see if there's anything nice here. Like that. And then hopefully... The thing is, I mean... Not that I'm criticizing here anything. By the way, why did Arno attack the Count? He said that it's because of the Count that his shield is broken. But what is... What we have to say certain... That things are gonna get worse. It's not gonna... I mean, I don't wanna call it predictable, but... There are gonna be rats, we already know that. I have no problem with that, by the way. Hopefully the stress level of Hugo now is lowered, since we have been on the ship and everything has been better. Oh yeah, so it's always worth the look. I wonder how things are going to escalate. I think there's no need to craft yet. Although I might regret that in the next couple of episodes, I don't know. There's a big bird there. First of all, okay, I, maybe falcons aren't that big, I don't know. Um, B, I don't know if they are that aggressive. Stay behind cover as much as possible, use tools. What tools? I mean, does that mean I should? Oh boy, we made progress. I was a little bit, I was not very decisive there. I ducked and was in cover. Was I not? At least I could have sworn I was. Shame on me. Okay, that's not the way. Too bad, I've seen the door. I was greedy, I guess. Come on. Then... Next bit of cover. Good. That was easy, but you see we have a new enemy type. I don't know if that was just a mini boss here, but maybe Nimpless. And I agree, Hugo. The bird was really awful. I don't know. No! You 
fucking traitor! You did this to yourself! So this is his army? A girl and a boy? No, wait! Victor, stop! Emily. Give us a lady from the dream, right? Don't get carried away. She helped. They're not a threat. Of course, my love. I'll kill you, bitch, Count! I'll teach you what it is to lose what you care for! You've always been a disgrace to the knighthood, Arno. And you've been a pain in my ass for too Are long. You all right? Lock him up. I'll handle that later. So where do you know this beast from? We shared a boat and had time to chat on the way, but I didn't know he was after you, sire. Now, if you're not bandits, who are you? Amicia. And this is Hugo, my brother. He's a bit afraid. Well, don't be. There was more fright than danger. These days are dedicated to life and peace. Would you agree to be our guests for dinner? Are you sure? I'm sure. Emily's right. You helped, you deserve it. Come with us. She's too nice! And have we already seen her? Or maybe I'm just making or oh, imagining things now or having hot memories, which obviously is possible. But again, this is too good to be true. I mean, I, I wish it for the both of them. But this is where it always starts again, right? Hugo, come. So, how do you like our terrace? It's beautiful. It's really your house. <laughs> This is home. It's incredible. Come, come inside. Hello, boys. God, have they a beautiful home. It's big. Yep. It is. And it's only a small part of the palace. Oh, do you fancy some dates before we show you to your room? Dates? What is it? A fruit, Hugo. Can I? Come on. Sure, Your Grace. Please go easy, Hugo. Yes. I know this all looks pretty formal, but please, here I'm not your grace. I am the mother. I am myself, so be yourself. Yes. During the brighter days, all the people of Lacuna are one, united around the child of embers. So? I love it! Ha <laughs> ha! A bon vivant! Be careful, they're very rich. So where are you from? Guyenne. We fled the war and the plague. We came here hoping for a better life. And we heard of this island. You were right to come here. Let's keep going. You must be tired after this adventure. It's amazing. They know something. Can't wait to see our room. They do know something. Agnes, go get a room ready for two, please. Certainly, mother. Because Is she. Her mummy? No, it's symbolic. And these are our gardens. My favorite part. Splendid. Finally, they clean to the basins. Yes, aren't they nice? You're quite young for such a long trip. Where are your parents? Mummy is somewhere, but Dad was killed. By who? How? Uh, Hugo. Victor, don't be so military. <laughs> you know me. Come next to me, Hugo. Yes. You see those plants? Most of them are not from here. But we managed to make them grow anyway. And they look great! Thanks to a lot of love and care. We are just like them, you know? We drink water! <laughs> and we need a good soil, love and care. This land is open to you, if you wish to keep growing here. But of course the big sister will decide. Right, Amicia? Thank you so much. Those were kind and true words. Let me show you something else. Victor? Of course, my Come, love. Hugo. The land here is strong. The child of embers breathes life into it. We created the brighter days to celebrate him. In the hope he'll come back to us, as it is foretold. To us, his mother and father. And to the people. We pray to him, not as a god, but as our long sleeping child. We love and revere him to revive his flame. Flame? Would you pray with me? 
You can do it in your own way. Sure. Hugo? I'll pray to the bird. It's the bird. A humble flame to light his night. And may he rise, a sun, a sun, so bright. So bright. So bright. Thank you. I appreciate it. Shall we go? Uh, sorry, Mother. Could we take some time to pray for our father? Hugo? Yes, of course. I understand. I'll wait for you. Come when it is done. Dear Father. Hugo, is it really your bird? Take a good look at it. Oh, yes. I feel it. It has the same beak. And I just know it. Good. Very good. Let's go back to them. And no word about that to anybody here, right? It's our secret. I know. Is everything ready for tomorrow? Yes. The new robes look wonderful. It will be perfect. Excuse me. Oh. Shall we go? Sure. It's too I must say we perfect. appreciate that you paid homage to the child so willingly. Every child bears the future of the world. One child can change everything. That is very true. Here it is. Go on. This is too much. Nonsense. You're our guests. There's a good dinner being cooked. A real dinner, Amicia! Shh! Oh, we'll need to get you some new clothes. It looks like you had a long journey. Are you going to kill Arno? Sugar. He will be judged. All those who do bad things are. And he did a lot. But you will have the chance to testify if you wish to do so. But enough of that. We'll leave you to rest. Tomorrow, feel free to enjoy Lacuna. Brighter days are the best time for it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My lady. Beds are great. Try jumping on them. Yes! She's too nice! I mean, that would be beautiful. But that <laughs> is not gonna happen in this game. <laughs> as cool as it would be, don't get me wrong. I ca just can't believe it. <coughs> so, chapter 9. Tales and Revelations. I think this is now about half of... I think there are 17 chapters. So, we are now... A little bit we are now tales and revelations so we are about half of the game oh boy but that also guys and gal nearly brings us to the end of this episode these clothes feel so nice i yes. hardly see a difference to be honest hey come here sleepyhead Come on, it's just the sun. Look, it's worth it. Whoa, it's... Well, it's... Like a dream? Yes, exactly like my dream. Quickly, let's eat something and get going. Come on. Beautiful! Can we go play? Hey, we're here to know why you dreamt about this place, right? Yes! Let's go! And on the other hand, where is everyone, right? Okay, we now are able to explore the island, which we will do tomorrow in the next episode. You guys, for now, you know it. I, oh, there we have a photo mode. Anyhow, it's out of context and when actually this episode is going to come out, um, the stream conversation probably is already going to forgot. Anyways, guys, this brings us to the end of this episode and you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.